hello friends so in this video we'll be learning how to make a home page or a welcome page or a design of that main page of your project so let's get started so before starting please subscribe my channel and uh, please share it like it like it i mean after watching this video you can like so please share my channel at least and uh, please subscribe so let's make a home page for the design home page that will be designing through asp.net tools okay so i will normally save the file so this is our container i mean form here div is there so the first div we will be using for an uh, logo and one project image then so go to your image folder like in my previous video i have told you to how to create this image folder and all so i will take uh, my logo okay so design this according and resize it so this will be my logo hmm. and uh, next will be the uh, image okay so home logo i'll take it and i'll paste it over here yeah this too big so resize it yeah it's fine okay so arin is done now the logo is set and the main paper for your project however according to your project you should take your image okay so this was our image container right so now we'll take uh so in this design we need a menu bar so we'll take a menu bar okay so go to inside the form itself clear create a div tag okay this is our div so click on that div and go to design so you can see over here so let's take a menu bar from the toolbox itself so this is the advantage of using asp.net it will be ready made so drag and drop your toolbox i mean menu bar so it's all mentioned as root so it lets edit this go to edit and i mean click on this and you will get the items so to add there is no button yeah it's here add the items so first will be home page okay next add the item uh products okay according to your projects you should add it on next will be about us next mm, next will be contact okay contact and next last one we will uh, give services okay this is enough yeah five we have given if you want add want to add one more you can add it on so i will give add one more thing mm, i'll add a help okay okay created so six things are created in this so we will make this it is in vertical format so let's make in it in horizontal go to properties search for the orientation which is vertical and horizontal yeah orientation is over here right click to the horizontal see now it is in horizontal so here we'll give a uh, first let us increase the size and uh, let's color this okay so go to under that only click right click properties you'll get that so you should choose for static menu item style okay click open first will be set a background color for that i'll choose this color fine then you can choose the border color for that so i'm comfortable with that back color itself so i'll choose the font color as white okay so it may look white and uh, i'll increase the length so we have to give horizontal padding so according to your screen size you can give 60px let's check out how much is the size so let's increase a little more okay 
right click go to properties 60 it is let's uh, 65 Oops. No, I didn't know. 65 I will increase it to 70 yeah 17 is ok so let's increase the vertical padding ok go to your this item menu ok static menu item style so padding will give 10% 10 pixels yeah now it's good so let us run and see this run it's loading so in, yeah see first uh, let let me make this in center i want in center like here it's margin and here margin so let's go back to code stop your program save the file so this is in this is all in one body okay one thing so this is the body so copy that body and give it in a style board oops. control c oops control v actually to stop this thing so this is a body and yeah the form of the body and you can get uh, we'll set a background color okay first background color is to i'll take a white smoke color it will be like white only but little lighter than white shine okay so i'll give margin which i wanted in margin left margin left 10 I'll give 7 percentage ok 7 percentage save the file go back to your browser and refresh hmm. oh it's not aligned properly so let's align this go to your form go to your design and check out with the alignments yeah yes this is also not aligned so let's align this properties and uh, go to that item menu static menu item style ok open and give us it is 70 so I will get 65 yeah it's enough so let's save go run yes now it is aligned so for looking more good let's a certain image ok go to your source code after this menu declare a div tag so clear after this in this div tag you have to set the image so div tag appears here in the form side design side choose an image according to your project paste it simple so here the image will be lengthy and smaller according to your download format ok their pixels so let's align it to the properly uh, yes so it is done i want to keep it this much away ok let's save go and check out yeah it's looking better so you just align it according to it yeah. so we need to increase the file size a little more yes save run ok this is how we align and uh, now let's add uh, some contents over here ok yeah source so this was our image ok yes now we have to add one more div tag ok for writing the contents ok so h1 so I'll take this uh, my funda of web design. Okay. So this is my heading, and I want to add some contents like paragraph. So I'll take H3 itself. I don't want any small letters. So this is my demo project to design a home page page 
page or welcome page or main page okay in sp dot fine so let's break the line so and copy this i'll copy to increment it so let's align it properly and paste it okay so i have pasted it saved it go refresh yeah you have got some contents of your project so i want to hover on this menu bar like designing and all so if i put the cursor on this home page so it should hover some color okay some effects so let's go and design it go to your design check out right click properties go to item static item yeah static menu this static hover style so i'll take the background color as on the light any light color so which it good looks okay and i will take a font color on that light color which will be the darker i'll take this color. okay done this will be save it go to your browser refresh the page yeah see now it's come it's getting over okay so if i click home page it should be in home page if i click product page it should go in product page right so for that you have to just come over here in the menu right click not right click you have to set in the right so you have to go to your menu content edit the items so in home page what you set home page itself so click home home page okay home page fine just take out this things okay otherwise it will be an error later so products so give a product page so already i have created a product product page so i'll mention that so product page okay so again there is a margin right so a slash just remove that or you can type it over here okay just give okay so let's check out with this and uh, like that only about page contact us services and helps you can just add it on so let's save go to the chrome and refresh okay it's loading yeah it's load fine this is our home page right and these are contact products and extra crap so if i click on product page it should go on product page see this is my product page so like this you can add this okay this is my product page and this is my home page if i click it is in home page product page it will go to product page fine so uh, here in this to design this it's purely with asp.net okay so this is all about my video in this so you have come to know how to design home page using asp.net toolbox right so thank you for watching this video and please share my channel and subscribe my channel like the video and please share even to your friends so that they can learn and subscribe my channel too thank you so much for watching this video